Hey y'all, today I wanted to do a different type of video. I realized that some of you, in fact, maybe a lot of you watch my videos but don't know who I am. So in honor of hitting 50,000 subscribers, let's talk about it. So I'm mixed with Jerry, but my real name is Jeremiah. I'm 31 years old and I make music and YouTube videos in my free time. Now, how did I end up here on YouTube going by the name Mix with Jerry? So when I was in seventh grade, I was hanging out with one of my buddies who played guitar and I listened to him play on his acoustic all of these songs from start to finish like from the first verse all the way to the last chorus and i was like i need to learn how to do this because i was always musical growing up like i love to sing i sang in the school choir but to actually sit there and physically see someone you know play an instrument and play a song it really opened my eyes and so thankfully my parents they bought me an acoustic guitar from the pawn shop and the rest is history i learned how to play the guitar chords i started learning some songs and then eventually i bought a mic and started to record everything i'd do covers i'd write my own stuff i'd upload it to myspace and youtube and the recordings themselves were really terrible quality i honestly i just i had no idea how to mix a song but eventually over time Time, they started to sound better. And by high school, I was making like 15 track CDs of songs that I had wrote myself and I was just passing them out at school. I was truly just a kid with his MacBook making music in GarageBand. And I still had no idea what it was to mix a song at this point, right? I was just recording acoustic guitar, I was recording my vocals and then throwing a preset on them and calling it a day, but it worked. And so when I graduated high school, I was just really passionate about music. But you know, life kind of comes at you fast when you're 18 and you really just have to make decisions for what path you want to take. And so I chose to move to Austin, Texas and pursue civil engineering. I went to Austin Community College for about a year and a half and I worked really hard to get accepted into the University of Texas civil engineering program. Now, this kind of came at a cost musically for me. I just didn't have the time to focus on music like I did in high school. And at this time, I would still do cover songs like here and there in GarageBand, but it was never just a main priority of mine. Now, around this time of getting accepted into the University of Texas, I discovered the world of beat making. I kind of just, you know, like fell in love with making these spontaneous hip hop beats. And at first I was just making them in GarageBand because that was all I had. But eventually I, you know, moved up and I bought FL Studio. And with all of these beats, I would just send them to one of my friends who made music. He was a rapper. And I would just send him like everything, hoping that he would think one of them was cool and would want to make a song to it. And eventually he did. And I just thought that was like the craziest thing to me, that somebody could take my beat, write some lyrics to it, and make a whole entire track. I remember I actually went to the studio with him when he was going to record the vocals. And we gave the engineer the beat. And he was like, who made this beat? And I said, you know, I did. And he looked at me and he said, you know, I would have really preferred if you gave me the track outs, I could have made the beat sound a lot better. And I was just that guy that, you know, exported a, a really low quality MP3, but at the time I just didn't know. I didn't really understand the whole concept of mixing, but it really was just cool to go to the studio and see how a track is made. And, you know, he ended up actually doing a few more songs to some of my beats. Now, after a while, I was like, man, I miss recording and just writing my own songs. And keep in mind, I had really stepped away from that aspect of music since I graduated high school. So I made some beats for myself and I booked a studio in Austin and started making music again while I was attending the University of Texas. Now, I needed an artist name in order to release this music, and that's where I came up with Jerry Gleam. And a lot of people ask me, how did you come up with that name? Like, what does that mean? Well, when I was a kid, all my friends called me Jerry, which was short for Jeremiah, and then I just really liked the word Gleam, so I put those two together and came up with Jerry Gleam. So I started putting these songs out on SoundCloud. You know, I wasn't doing like shows or anything of that nature. I wasn't even getting a lot of views, but I just really enjoyed making music and going to the studio. It was so fun just getting to create these songs. And I would really learn a lot by just going to the studio and seeing how a song is actually created. I worked with the same engineer every single time I went to the studio. So I slowly started to subconsciously learn and become more familiar about the song creation process. Now at this time, I actually decided that civil engineering wasn't for me and it wasn't something that I wanted to do long term, but I knew that 
you know, I needed to get a degree from this prestigious university that I had really worked so hard to get into. So I switched my major to sports management. I was working and interning with the athletic department. So I was just very busy with school. And I ended up graduating from UT in 2016. So here I was again, just really having to think about what I wanted to do with my life. So while living in Austin after I graduated, I bounced around a couple of odd jobs, but ended up moving back to the Houston area and getting a full-time job. And the funny thing was, I tried to find a studio that I could record at, but I just couldn't find any studio with an engineer that made my songs sound like the ones I was making in Austin. So on the weekends, I would actually drive all the way back up to Austin and book eight hour sessions to record and mix my songs with that same engineer. But over time, this just became so unrealistic for me to do, and this was really the beginning of Mix With Jerry. I knew that long-term, it would be greatly beneficial for me to learn how to mix everything myself. So I bought a Neumann TLM 103 mic. I already had my KRK Rocket speakers. I had an Audient ID22 uh, interface and I had FL Studio. So I had everything I needed to record and mix music. I just went to YouTube and I started watching a ton of tutorials about mixing. And I was so obsessed. Like the whole concept of using plugins and adding EQ and compression, it really just was something that I was so interested in. And I would just learn and learn and learn some more. And eventually over time, I got to the point where my mixes actually sounded good and presentable. And once I felt comfortable enough, I started to post my songs that I was mixing myself and I didn't really notice any drop off. So I'm very thankful that, you know, I had the willpower to learn this incredibly complex art of mixing because it is such a great resource for someone who is a songwriter or a producer or a beat maker. It really and truly gives you full control and that's what I like. So about three years ago in 2021, when I started my own YouTube channel called Mix With Jerry. I already loved creating music, so I just thought that making videos would be another form of creation and expression for me. And since I was already making music and putting it out under Jerry Gleam, I just named the YouTube channel Mix With Jerry. Getting in front of a camera and talking to an audience is definitely a skill that, you know, you have to develop over time. But I really do believe that I've grown more comfortable explaining these hard to grasp, like, abstract concepts to an audience. And my channel really has grown significantly over the last three years. Now, I didn't really think that, you know, my channel would turn into a small little community of music producers and engineers watching videos about EQ and compression, but it really has been such an awesome experience. Like when I post a YouTube short that gets over 100,000 views, it's really such a crazy feeling knowing that that many people are watching a video about an 1176 compressor. Like something that is so abstract to the average human is really what brings, you know, all of us together online. And so this YouTube channel has really brought me some great opportunities. I've gotten to work with some cool companies behind the scenes. I've gotten to test out some new plugins and it's just come a lot further than I would have ever expected. But at the same time, it is really difficult as far as the time management goes because the whole music thing is something that I just do in my free time. Mixing is not how I make my living. I've mixed other people's music before and it's just not my main priority. Now I'm not saying that it wouldn't be something that I could pursue in the future as the whole Mix With Jerry thing grows, but currently if I have free time, I'm either going to work on my own music or I'm gonna do some type of content creation around music production. I already have a full-time job. I have a 401k and health insurance. So the Mix With Jerry thing is just something I do because I'm passionate about making music. I love showing people how I add reverb to a vocal or how I I add EQ to a snare, and it's just a great way for me to showcase my own music at the same time. And recently, I've started writing and releasing music under my real name, and it's got more of a country and organic sound to it. So I have the Jerry Gleam songs, and then I have the Jeremiah Nesbitt songs. Two completely different genres that I get to use in my videos to show y'all my mixing process. So overall, the Mix With Jerry YouTube channel has just been a great outlet of creation for me. I love making the long form videos and I've recently had a lot of success putting out some short form content. And I'm really excited to see where this road ends up taking me because Making these videos about music production and audio engineering is just something that I really enjoy doing. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I know it was long, but I just wanted to be transparent and let y'all know my story about how I got to where I am. So thank y'all so much for 50,000 subscribers and let's keep it going.